Cast Iron Cooking with Johnny. Hi, welcome to Cast Iron Cooking with Johnny. I'm Johnny, and these are my cast irons. What I'm gonna do today is show you a simple way to make bacon perfect every time. Now before we get started, let's take a quick look at how bacon was invented. Bacon's roots are shrouded in mystery. The earliest literary reference is found in a deleted line from Shakespeare's Hamlet. Normally a master of puns, this particular wordplay left people unimpressed. After opening night, he became enraged and rewrote the scene, altering it forever. And so unfortunately, Bacon's origins remain yet another one of the great unknowns. Well that didn't even make sense. Let's get back to cooking bacon. Now the first step with any meat you're going to cook is to temper it. I like to leave larger pieces of meat out for up to an hour so they can get to room temperature before I start grilling. With bacon, I'd say about 15 to 20 minutes is plenty of time. Now, normally with other meats, I would recommend you get the pan to the temperature you want to cook at. With bacon, we're going to put the bacon in the pan first and let it heat up with the pan. That'll allow the fat to render at a consistent rate and get that non-stick action going. Now you can pull it right out of the refrigerator if you want and start cooking, but getting the bacon to the same temperature as the pan close to room temperature will be a better option. So as easy as that, we'll take the bacon and we'll stick it on our skillet. Now today I'm using this 10 inch vintage Pequaware skillet, but you can use any skillet you want as long as it'll fit your bacon. Just place your bacon evenly spread out in the bottom of your skillet without any extra grease or oil. Now if your skillet is properly seasoned and has enough oil on top of it, you're not gonna need to add anything extra. I also take the bacon and wiggle it around just a little bit to make sure that some of the fat from the bacon itself is getting into the pan. Now we can take that bacon, put it directly on the stove, and kick on the flames. Now to cook our bacon, we're gonna do it at medium heat. I know a lot of people think you need a little bit hotter heat to get that crispiness, and I'm telling you, you don't have to. Starting at medium is the way to go. Now, if you need to cook more than a few pieces of bacon, you can easily just add more bacon as you go. Drain a little bit of the fat off if you have to. You don't have to start over and cool your pan down and start from scratch. Now, if you keep bacon grease around and you'd like to start your pan that way, you can also do that and put a little bit in there. I'd still recommend starting it cold. There's something about starting bacon cold in a cast iron that makes it just perfect. And now we entertain ourselves while our pan and our bacon heat up. All right, it's getting hot. Let's get back to cooking. As you can see here, our fat's just starting to render. It's bubbling out. And also there's water in the bacon. It doesn't get shocked out when you throw it in a hot pan. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna help also with shrinkage of the bacon. When you start out with a bacon piece like this, then it gets this small. Nobody likes that. This way it's gonna retain its size and that shock of heat won't steal all the water content out of your bacon. Now once it starts to sizzle just a little bit, you can hear it as you can hear it now, I would just give it a flip. Some people just say keep it in the pan and then wait to flip. I flip often. See now that I've just flipped the bacon, it's starting to curl up around the edges but it's really maintained its size. Now shrinkage is an unfortunate fact of life. But this is going to reduce that shrinkage as much as it can so you don't have a tiny piece of bacon when you're done. Now I would recommend, like I said, flipping it often, maybe once a minute or so, until it's the consistency that you like. Some people like really crispy bacon, some people like it softer. I prefer bacon right in the middle. In order to get there, I just continue flipping until it's done. And as we can see here, the bacon's getting nice and crispy. With that lower heat, that fat is rendering at a consistent rate. It's not just getting crisped up, it's not just getting sucked right out of the bacon and burning. It's also not smoking very much this way. Now we just continue to flip until the bacon is done. Another thing you'll notice is as I'm flipping, that bacon doesn't have enough time to get stuck to the pan, and that fat is still rendering and pouring out and keeping that pan slick. Then, just before it's the consistency you like, I would take it off heat. That bacon's gonna continue to cook in its own fat while it cools. Now we can go ahead and pull our bacon off onto a paper towel, 
And now as you let it cool, that bacon's gonna continue to crisp up just a little bit around the edges and turn perfect. Now, just like my other recipes, it's gonna be up to you to figure out how you like to cook your bacon. If you want it crispier, just leave it in longer. I would say trying this cold start is the way to go though. And there you have it, perfect bacon in a cast iron. Now, check out my other videos if you wanna learn how to clean up that pan after you cook. I hope you've enjoyed this bacon lesson and I'll talk to you later. Thank you.